Hi, hello, welcome to Karthik Swart Photography. In this video, we will see how to edit your wildlife and landscape photos in the Adobe, Adobe Lightroom. This one is Adobe, uh, Adobe Lightroom classic version. So, we can start the video here. So first we import the, photo, import the photos by using this menu import photos and videos you can you can get you can get this dialog box so you can simply select photos and add the photos to Adobe Lightroom I already had it so we haven't uh, we don't need to add furthermore so you just click develop okay now the three photos are here we will try we will try with the uh, first two ones okay first one is the uh, Indian doll this one is Indian show I shot this photograph at Valpare uh, around here uh, three to four years back okay so we will start the processes so we will start the process here first to first main thing will be uh, lens corrections you should take all the boxes enable profile corrections remove chromatic abbreviations and constrain crop so each one having some purposes to fix the photo, uh, fix the lens and the camera shake some things. So uh, enable profile corrections. Do automatically uh, select your for select your lens model and the camera model. As per your lens model, it will be uh, correct the photo accordingly. Okay. So first one thing is lens corrections we need to check three options and then we simply do camera calibration camera calibrations is uh, looking similar to our camera uh, picture control right this is a camera lamb, landscape neutral 40 yard standard we, we, you can check everything you can check anything so we just add the the color of red green primary color of green sorry uh, we simply add some saturation okay this one will be fine okay then we just uh, you can you can add anything you can add primary controls you can saturation here you can do anything but but you should you should do something a minimum minimal uh, values here okay by double click if you if you did any uh, wrong corrections you just double click the the high till and it will duplicate back the original values okay First one is lens corrections and then we do camera calibration and the third one is crop so we need to crop this picture right actually I I took this took this image around uh, around it to um, around 50 feet away I think so so we need to some closer look of the Indian doll so we will select some uh, aspects here picture aspects i select this one 4 into 6 2 into 3 okay so what i want to uh, show the viewers what i look 
okay this one will be great no this one this crap is not good Okay, this one is not good at all. So we these two things. This one will be something good. I hope so. Okay. Don't do overcrop by by reading the pixels under three thousand. So we just just simply add some pictures. Little bit, okay. Three thousand is good enough for the social profiles posting something. Okay, okay. This one is our pick right now. So this is the basic feel uh, where I want to convey my the the original scene, right? Then we do the basic adjustments, the temperature, the white balance. is already uh, is very good if you want to uh, if you want to change something you can change it here so white balance as short is here you can select by auto auto white balance is somewhat cloudy look so the daylight we are, we always try i always try daylight by all wildlife and bird photographs you can check cloudy this one is cloudy some yellowish Lighting is there. So much shade. Thanks, Dan. Some blue lights is there. Flash, fluorescent, and you can see the custom. Okay. By simply we can a shot, right? You can change the temperature by by moving the sliders also. So this one is bright yellowish. This one is correct. This one is very cool blue. Okay. So by double clicking, we set the default value. Tint, you can change the tint value also. The cool green and the warming red. Okay. you can change the white balance by also here you can change the neutral color you just pick the neutral color here okay this one we have a neutral color according to the neutral color the white balance will be set okay okay this one is good the original picture will be here so this is our edit current picture okay and then we the exposure is somewhat uh, showing under exposure you can check the histogram here histogram values so we need to fix this one by doing slider right the exposure slider right to somewhat close to the original look okay fine we are looking fine so you can check the original and the current edit file okay so you can simply add some contrast so this values as little as possible okay so then we reducing the total highlights of the image it will be uh, Will most more sluggy in these values, so we just add some highlights. Okay, this one will be great. Okay, we just open up shadows by dragging this one. Okay, we just do whites. When when dragging white and blacks. you need to know you just press click alt and then move the slider accordingly 
okay you can simply uh, press alt key and then move the slider to right you can you can see little bit whites here you can leave it here okay you can see the bright conditions you can just reduce the thing okay reduce a little bit okay fine this will be good okay if you want to take somewhat to the back okay this one be good okay then the the same changes again to apply to blacks you just hold alt key okay the black areas affected your oil okay. should be good actually over contrasted okay this one is good we don't need to change the black in this picture we just zoom the pictures by okay just click to zoom the pictures once and we will see the picture is good actually the picture is good in the real life photography segment but we if you want to review my own pictures the the f-stop would be f8 and the iso would be under 600 it will be great and the shutter speed will be also uh, very higher uh, to the uh, to the moment but it will be not uh, it will be not 8 and is not good for this picture okay anyway we already taken this photo we can't change the values here so okay we just add some clarity here little bit you just track the slider little bit okay fine okay we just add some vibrance okay you can you can flexible to add some saturations here but saturations is not going to I, okay this one is good right so our exposure over saturations image okay this one is good good this one is, is original and this one is our detail file okay then we need to we need to change the tone curve actually must uh, most of the wildlife and landscape photographers a little bit reduce the situations okay most of the wildlife photographs that in doesn't need the tone curve actually but we just reveal the work or the process is doing the highlights you can see the different here right okay you can see the lights so no lights here so we just put on positive side okay fine the dark areas you can see the all dark areas will be shown reveal here okay you can reveal all the shadows here but it will not be good and as we as we used with the iso 1000 it will be uh, display some grains give some grain right so you can fix somewhat so that's okay we can fix this one okay you can do uh, basics basic editing and we do the tone curve now we are coming into SCL and color palette 
okay in this in the color palette we can choose colors by three formats hcl and color hsl sorry hsl color and black and white so you can simply click hsl here so you just drag the uh, hue in this photo okay okay which area we should be adjusted okay fine you can simply change the green colors into yellow or somewhat bluish green you can change the orange color into pink or somewhat uh, yellowish green right so this one is original image and this one is altered but this is not good right so we need to fix by clicking double on the titles so get back it and we, for wildlife photography is not is it's not necessary to change the uh, change the colors in the HCL uh, HSL mode. You saturation luminous, luminosity. Okay, we can uh, change it from here color. Okay, we just uh, change green only, right? I simply reduce the saturation in flower and the luminous. Okay. This area will be affected. Okay. okay, we just fix this. Somewhat is bright highlighter. Now it's good. Okay, fine. We just add some saturation. Okay, a um, little bit. Okay. We need, we don't need the split toning always in the natural photographs and the news uh, editorial photographs actually is for the, uh, it's kind of a filter purposes. You can see the highlights, right? Somewhat. Somewhat you can see the filters, right? So you don't need to change anything in the split toning. So that just to leave it here. And the important part is detail. So details, you can first first one is you you just simply clicking the image for fully zoomed, and then change the uh, numbers. First you should first you should change the masking. Just clicking the Alt key in your keyboard and drag the masking. For which areas you should sharpen okay you want to sharpen right okay now uh, whatever you want amount you can try sharpening the sharpen area the affected sharpening areas will be here only so this is good i think so okay you can change the radius also not doing or doing anything in the wildlife photography we need a uh, we need to show the natural lighting and the natural conditions okay detail you can you know, little bit details okay okay this is good and if you want to zoom the photo by 3 into 1, you can see some grains in the photograph due to the 1000 ISO, 8000 ISO and the lighting is very bad at the condition of when we photographed. Okay. You can check. So we need to add some mass reduction here. Simply put on the slider by dragging move to the right. You can slightly move the noise reduction luminous 
to the right side the detail you can see some upgrading chrome chrome machines here so detail will be better nice will be clear okay fine we cannot reduce the whole nice in this photograph as then as we used a thousand iso here okay somewhat is good right you can you can you can check you can check by zooming this same pictures okay you can see. You can reduce the chromatic operations. Okay, so it's fine, I think. So. Okay, you can check the ISO nice here, right? Check the nice. Here. Check the nice here. Yes, some word is good, but not whole. I'm good. Okay. 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 It just some word is good as we can. Reduce some noise here, right? So meters. So the luminous. Okay. Oh, now the image will be good, right? You can see the old one and the new one image. If you want, fix the this area also. You can simply try graduated filter. Adding this like this. You can do the highlights. You simply add some contrast. Or you just reduce the exposure. Okay. You just show us. Just to track the highlights, just a little bit exposure. Just exposure. Okay. If you want to do the correct uh, correct adjustment, you can. Uh, you can use the brush this one will be our edited photo this one will be our edited photo you can see the you can see the foreground you can see the background and you can see the object this is our subject so you can you can simply uh, if you uh, if you just want to do the same in the nearby foreground we can click brush tool so take new brush we just 
we'll open up the brush larging by okay okay we just add brush mask here okay Just reduce the exposure, right? Just reduce the highlights. We just reduce the shadows here. Add some clarity, right? Okay. Can simply by highlights. Okay, now will be good, right? So we can just simply change the nearby foreground also here. Okay, overall the the photo looks fine, right? You can compare the old one and the new one photo. This this one may be great. This is the normal standard editing uh, wildlife photos in the Lightroom. Uh, the next session we will continue with the uh, with the landscape photography right okay this is one of the photo i take out uh, i taken it wall power right so in this photo actually if i review the photo uh, in past i should uh, the value sh should be um, 60 okay ISO should be low, the uh, around 200 or something. Would be fine in this photograph. Actually, the 400 is wrong, right? Okay, anyway, we can't change this one. So, simply add pair the rules, add pair the thumb rules. We just uh, do the lens corrections first. Okay, we do it. Okay, you just click any chromatic operations is uh, seems in the edge you you just remove it okay okay there is no chromatic operations here okay then we little bit add camera calibration actually in the green areas right we just do green little bit over okay. the extend parts is here yeah, right but it's not necessary if if you if if it just takes up the little bit parts we just we just don't do it right okay just leave it and then uh, we just crop the pictures right now okay we just cut the tree Cut the tree and here also. Okay, but in this photograph, we photographed some uh, uh, hills rock, right? So we need to we need to show the edges of the hills. So we need to leave this one. Okay, be okay, fine. okay this will be good right okay and then we do the basic uh, corrections the white balance is somewhat good actually this one is cool this one is hot but we need to uh, if if we want to fix the white balance right now so i just put the temperature somewhat plus okay we just uh, add some weight balance temperature we just add the temperature a little bit this one is original 
I just add some work to the right. Okay, fine. So and then we just lower the overall highlights to drop down to zero. Okay, and the shadows areas we just we can uh, we can reveal all the shadow series here but it will be show some misty look right so we just just to the single slider single point here okay we just do weights little bit of weight okay we don't we don't know we just putting back to the black right in the negative areas we just add some contrast here right okay, okay fine so this one is original this one we will edit this one okay. so in the plus area we just add clarity a little bit and then we just add the vibrance or somewhat closer to the original pick. The same to the saturation. Okay. Now you just check the original one and the editor one. Okay, fine. This is what I see in the original location. Okay. So we need to do any tone curve here. If you want to change any tone curve here, you just put the lights on. Okay. Okay. Some uh, sunlight looks effect. And we just reveal the shadow, shadow parts in some other areas. But this is not good, I think so. Okay. This one is fine. And then we just. Uh, just do the color panel so the two colors are here right one is white and the green so we need to uh, change the green you can change the green totally to the somewhat this kind of green actually I seen this kind of green here there okay but we just okay okay this is so we edited we just add the color right okay we just look at the image to the full screen right now you can you simply click f key in the keyboard and you can uh, you can see the full screen image okay this one which is good uh, good somewhat uh, somewhat little bit here little bit somewhat missing in this pictures right so we we clicking dragging the green to the minimum one okay fine okay fine this one is good uh, we can just adding some luminous reducing the luminous in saturation the green right now okay fine just do right and the detail panel we we don't need any sharpening right right just, just masking the areas I, I just sharpening this areas right the sharpening also very low just to zoom the picture picture has some ISO noise we keep it ISO noise so we just add some luminous to the noise okay we can reduce the whole noise in this picture okay somewhat is good So you can see the previous before photo and the after one. You can see it on the full screen too. Okay, this is our edit, uh, this is our edited photo of the particular landscape, right? It's good, right? You can add some 
cinematic feels dramatic looks you can simply add some this slider graduated filter to here okay you can you can see the highlights you can you can add some contrast right you can simply reducing the exposure values okay the exposure value is not good okay somewhere is good right you can add some clarity You can add some color also to the highlighted area, right? You can add this color. You can add this color. Okay, so we just put simply on highlighting this color, right? This one is original. You want to to highlight it. Okay, fine. Okay, little bit V saturation, right? Okay, so this is on before photo, and this one will be the after one. We add some dramatic looks, right? So, this is the output of the final image okay this one is our full screen view okay you can see some dramatic looks here right you can check it out here right the hills view the texture uh, in this patterns the forest areas and the Langma some T estates interbent between there and the sunlight overlap here, 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 and the mystic clouds. Right. You can see some traumatic jilt of every year, right? So this is our uh, edited tutorial. So you can you can you can uh, do the editing for the wildlife okay you can do the you can do editing wildlife photograph and also the landscape here Okay. This one's before and this one will be our after photo. Thanks for viewing this whole tutorial. Thank you.